I tried to play TDS with new players, as someone who is way too high level in this game, to see if we could win on every difficulty, and if I fail, I'll give 3 new players enough robux for the warding game pass. So game 1 was beginner mode, where I got in game with a level 4 player, Windmaster. I brought pretty balanced loadout with golden pyromancer for early game defense, which I placed after skipping a wave, while my teammate plays soldiers and snipers, letting us kill the first couple zombies. So I worked in farming till wave 8, where the normal boss spawned, in the beginner game mode since it's supposed to be easier, it has less waves and zombies spawn earlier, which would make later waves pretty challenging, but for now we just managed to kill the boss thanks to Sniper's generous range. A wave 16, I placed a DJ, and the slow boss spawned with 1600 health. I honestly was unprepared and had to skip the wave to be able to place a golden minigunner. A shadow boss then spawned on that next wave and ran past as the other towers targeted the slow boss, where the shadow barely died to Sniper, along with the boss itself a bit later. I maxed out my golden pyre and placed a few more minigunners. Got my first excel in wave 21. Surprisingly, we were actually somewhat struggling. Although my teammates snipers were surprisingly helpful with their range, their other towers weren't very good, and I wasn't optimistic. A wave 24, a speedy boss would have passed every tower if not for a last second freezer placement from Wind. So from there until wave 30, I prioritized in getting some fully upgraded accelerators. And we did reach the final wave where the Gravedigger boss spawned. At first it stunned our towers, but then it didn't use another ability, and with its relatively low health we killed it, completing normal mode. The next game, I attempted in multi mode with two teammates, Dance who was level 21 and Chicken Nuggets who was level 5. For this round I switched my towers slightly, replacing Minigunner with Warden to stun zombies and then we solely focused on Accelerator for damage. Unlike the first game, my teammates had more of an impact, as they had a few more towers like Ace Pilot and Demo Man. Still, I again placed Pyromancer early and started to farm. I didn't place anything until wave 15 where I purchased a Warden next to the Pyromancer. My thought was the Warden stun would stall zombies who would then take more splash damage from Pyromancer. I upgraded the two towers and continued farming. Dance continued to place max level ace pilots, which were helpful considering they actually have very high DPS, and chicken nuggets, freezers, and demo man were also contributing. Things looked good as we approached wave 30. From here, much stronger zombies spawned, but I had been able to max out my farms, which let me buy the expensive accelerator upgrades and a max DJ. I also later placed multiple wardens for longer stuns in conjunction with freezer. As we neared the final boss, Dance also placed military bases, the last variable on our team. We hit wave 40 and the molten boss spawned. With 7 accelerators, 8 snipers, and 10 ace pilots, its stunning abilities weren't strong enough and we melted the boss quickly, officially completing molten mode, leaving only one more challenge, by far the hardest game mode, Fallen. I joined Harbor with the level 8 player Bobar and the level 16 player Fail. I once again altered my Lodo, dropping the fun but unreliable Pyromancer for the classic gold scout. Bobar placed a soldier while Fail farmed, a wave 10 the abnormal boss spawned, stronger than the regular variant with 30% defense. I saved money for a level 3 scout though, which does a solid 10 damage per shot, enough to kill this boss. I upgraded two other scouts as well, and we killed the two bosses which spawned after, despite my teammates skipping the wave. I then got enough money to place a gold mini, and failed continued to farm. A wave 22, the upgraded slow boss spawned, which might have been okay, except my team skipped the wave early, giving the boss a large posse of extra zombies to sponge up damage. That itself might have also been okay, except we instantly skipped the wave again, putting us now 3 waves ahead. With me only having a few offensive towers placed, Fail still farming, and Bob R only placing Soldier and Paintballer, this run wasn't very strong. There were just too many zombies, and we lost in wave 24. So, since I was unable to complete all 3 difficulties, I failed the challenge, and I gave 3 of the lower level players in my group 800 robux each for them to buy the Warden game pass. So as someone who has spent far too much time on this game, please subscribe.